belly fat. Oh, what a topic we're going to hit today in our health segment with Dr. Trudy Pieper. We all deal with it. Some like to unaffectionately call it the muffin top, but you know what? Every single one of us grows up in life and deals with belly fat. But the positive thing is we don't have to deal with it forever. There are some things that we can do that can help with our situation. Absolutely, that visceral fat, what it's called, the deep fat around your belly, um, is very serious to your health. I mean, besides looking bad, no one wants a muffin top, but it can lead to diabetes, heart disease, stroke, and dementia. So it's more than just the way you look, it is also for your, your lifelong health. You need to take seriously about removing that fat from your body. So I'm sure that a lot of people at home, they're gonna say, oh, well, yeah, that's me. I certainly want to take the steps to do that. Um, are we talking easy things here or tough things? Well, of course not. We have the, the three basic things that we always talk about in general health. First of all, you need to reduce your sugar. Now there's number one. Um, bell, uh, sugar or that's converted in the liver to glycosin is then stored in the belly when we don't need it. And that's the job of insulin. Insulin is actually transportation. Insulin's made in the pancreas, and as you eat sugar, and you eat too much of it, and your body says, okay, we use the sugar for energy. Where do we take this in the body to store it? Um, we don't need it in the heart. The brain's thinking fine. So let's store it for future use, and we so they do. It goes and it stores it in the cells in the belly. Those cells expand four times, mm -hmm. fill up with that glycosin, gl glucose, sugar, and then they expand and grow into more cells. So if you want to stop that process, you have to stop eating sugar. So it, it's harder it, to do in America than you might is. want to say. <laughs> I just read something the other day where 75% of all processed foods have sugar in them. Hmm. So if you're eating processed foods, you're probably eating extra sugar that you don't need. So just again, keyword intentional, look at the amount of sugar, try to cut back wherever you possibly can. Uh, a lot of times, just if you're doing sodas, if you go, you're drinking three sodas a day, drink one soda a day. Just do some little things, and every little bit makes a difference. All so right. that's when the top one is sugar. But the second, again, and we were just talking about exercise. If you can't run, you can walk. Mm -hmm. And the only way of getting rid of the belly fat is you have to combine both the diet and exercise. And exercise requires both aerobic, so walking three days a week, and strength development or resistance exercise so that you're working those muscles and expending energy to remove the sugar from the, from the belly. So walking three days a week and strength development two days a week will, will the quickest way to get rid of the belly fat. And that can be difficult for people who haven't started that. Is right. there a way that they can start and build up to that kind of thing? Which they probably should if they haven't been exercising They have. Regularly. And what I usually suggest is to try to combine the two of them. It's hard if you haven't been exercising to all of a sudden start exercising five days a week is not going to happen. So let's be realistic. Let's say, all right, we're going to go twice a week and we'll do both resistance and aerobic at the same time. Remember back in the day, and this kind of talks about how old I am, but when we did the jazzercise <laughs> and everyone had the weights yeah. that you put around your wrists and the waist around your ankles. Mm -hmm. So that's resistance. Um, just simply, even if you don't have the weights that you can put in your hands or your ankles, uh, take a can with you, uh, a one pound can in each hand, and when you walk for 15 minutes, swing your hands carrying the cans, the canned foods, and now you have resistance. So you're getting resistance and aerobic. Excellent. So reduce sugar, increase or maintain proper exercise, and number three? Sleep. We're a nation that does not sleep. And if you do not sleep, your, your energy is so much lower. And then what happens is, it's a vicious cycle, that you have no energy, so what do you do? You eat sugar. <laughs> and so it gets back into that. So um, fatigue often leads to eating more sugar and which also causes more problems. So trying to get at least eight hours of sleep every night is really important in, in getting rid of your belly fat. Eight hours is a tough thing. It is. We surveyed Americans to find out how many adults are actually getting eight hours. I'm guessing it's going to be less than 50%. It is less than 50%. I think that it's like 30 to 35% actually get eight hours a night. Wow. So we're a sleep deprived country. Yes. So reduce sugar, exercise, and sleep. Three main lifestyle changes right. that can help. And those are lifestyle changes, Jennifer, that's going to help just about anyone with any disease or problems you have. You have arthritis, you do these three things, it's going to help. But in addition to that, there's three things that we can add that will be more targeted for the belly fat. 
And the first thing is, is detoxing with lemon water. Something that's easy to do. Um, and the, the reason why you want to do that, lemon water helps you detox your liver. And it's the liver that will help process the fat, the toxins out of your belly and move it through your body. So if your liver isn't working well, the whole process stops and doesn't work. So as simply as drinking water every morning, warm water with half a lemon will help your liver work better and then it will increase the enzymes that allow your liver to do a better job. That sounds simple. It does. I mean, it really, it's yeah. easy to do. Cut a lemon, throw it in, and that's right. That's Squeeze an easy in. starting point. Start Don't with start with coffee. Actually, coffee's a whole nother subject. <laughs> we won't go there. But, you know. <laughs> well, the coffee comes after the lemon water <laughs> to do that. All right, how about burning fat? Boy, we want to do that, don't we? Yeah, let's do it easy. So we don't want to do the exercise. What can we do so that we can burn fat? Well, praise God, he has given us two wonderful herbs and they're called thermogenic herbs. And when you use these herbs every day, they cause your body, or they increase your body temperature so that you burn fat more effectively. In other words, they're increasing your metabolism. And by increasing your metabolism, it helps to burn off the fat. The, two, the, the herbs are cinnamon and ginger. Again, both mm. really easy herbs to find. Most people mm -hmm. have them in their kitchens. And by adding a teaspoon of either one, cinnamon or ginger, every day. And you can be creative. Jennifer, you can put that um, on cereal in the morning. You can mix it in a smoothie you're making. Mm. Put some in some yogurt. Um, sprinkle it on a salad later in the day. But a teaspoon will uh, actually cause your body to have a higher metabolism and Here's a bonus with both of those. It also suppresses cortisol production. Another reason why people have belly fat is because they have too much cortisol. All of the stress in life is causing their adrenals to make this cortisol. And again, they don't need it. They're not in a fight or flight situation. And so it's storing that. So it also suppress cortisol. That sounds like something that a person could start right now. They don't have to go to the store and buy a capsule. They right. just go to the pantry pull out the cinnamon and, or the ginger. And cinnamon tastes great. It makes you think <laughs> of the holidays, doesn't it? It's good. Just think, the holidays and losing belly fat oh, at the same time. That's a great, <laughs> great bonus. All right, well, what's the next tip we can do? And then the last thing is um, we tend to retain fluids um, when we're, we have belly fat. And we wanna try to help our body naturally get rid of those. And so shedding some extra weight because the fluids in your body weigh a lot. And then when you're retaining fluids, you know, your, your, your tummy just pillows out because you have all this fluid in it. So it expands those cells we were talking about earlier. So it, what we want you to do is think of some natural diuretics. And natural diuretics as opposed to chemical or even over-the-counter diuretics actually add potassium back into your body instead of taking it away. Uh, there's a couple I can think of offhand that work really well. One is dandelion leaf, and don't go to the store and buy dandelion root. Dandelion root will help your liver, but it will not help you lose the fluids out of your body. So mm -hmm. it's dandelion leaf. You either can get it um, gathered from your, there's still some in your yards, I'm sure. You can make some tea out of that or put it into salads or get some capsules and take that daily. Um, another one is corn silk. And corn silk is a great a diuretic. As a matter of fact, I use it a lot with my kids who are bedwetters or people who go to bed in, at night and they have to get up six times during the night to pee. So if you take uh, corn silk before bedtime, it causes you to completely empty your bladder and allowing more uh, fluids then from the, the retained fluids into your bladder and makes it so you don't have to get up during the night. So either dandelion leaf or corn silk are great choices. Excellent, how interesting. Three key lifestyle changes, but then three individual points that you can also add in, all in all to help reduce that belly fat, but also just give you a better healthy system overall. I just continually find it amazing how God has just provided. God provides these key things that we need for our lives. Sometimes we wanna make it more complicated. It's just very, very simple, a lot of common sense. And again, we were made to thrive. <laughs> God has given us everything we need because he has work for us to do. You know, every person was made with a, a, a purpose and a reason. And to be able to fulfill the purpose that God has for you, you need to have the best quality of life that you possibly can, can have. And so removing belly fat may be one way to help you have a better quality of life, but also to be a better servant. Mm, absolutely, what a 
incredible words, not just medical advice, health advice from Dr. Trudy, but spiritual advice, because you know, that is, it all boils together. God did put us here for such an important purpose. And man, I'm so thankful for the purpose God has put you here for, <laughs> to give us this advice and to help us. Oh. Well, it's, it's a joy and it's always a joy to be here and to share this information. Um, I feel so blessed that God has enabled me to learn this knowledge and then to be able to pass it on and to share it with you and with the viewers. Um, and I will encourage everybody, if you're getting benefit from this program, please remember that TV44 is a nonprofit organization. And even though I donate my time to be here and I'm glad to do that, there's a cost to put this program on. And if you're getting something from this program, please consider sending in a donation to help other people to learn more about how to be healthy and to be able to serve their Lord in a better capacity. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That was completely unplanned. We did not even talk about that. Thank you so <laughs> much, Dr. Trudy, for that. Um, we're in this together. We're we all are. here to help all of us thrive, thrive uh, because Jesus is awesome and Jesus has great plans for all of our lives. Dr. Trudy Peeper from Johnstown, take a look at uh, the information on your screen so that we get that right. Thank you so much, Dr. Trudy Peeper, with today's health segment.